Hello zebra friends, I hope you're having a great day. Today, my room is a little bit darker than usual and that's because we're reading a special type of book. So this book is called Secrets of the Seashore and it's a shine a light book. So I have my phone here, I'm using it as a flashlight and it will come into play later as we open up our book. So it's called Secrets of the Seashore and it's written by Carol Brown and illustrated by Alyssa Nasser. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. A tide pool is bustling with life. If you look closely between the rocks, beneath the fronds of seaweed, and on the sandy bed, you will see the animals living there. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to the light to reveal what is hidden in and around the pool. Discover a small world of great surprises. So it tells us how we're gonna use the flashlight. A tide pool is a hollow on the seashore. Can you see what happens when the tide comes in? So that's the picture before we shine a light. Let's see what we can see after we shine a light. Ready? What do you see there, friends? Whoosh! The seawater flows in with the tide and fills the tide pool. And we can see all different types of sea creatures there. Creatures that live in seawater have waited for the tide pool to fill. What's hiding in these shells? Let's find out. Can you see those friends? Bubble, bubble. Mussels keep their blue shells tightly shut while the tide is out. Now they open their shells and begin to feed. Creatures cling to the rocks around the pool. Who could live in shells like these? Let's shine a light and find out. It says flutter, flutter. Can you see the creatures? Barnacles come to life in the water. They reach out their feathery legs to wave tiny pieces of food into their mouth. See that's where it says flutter, flutter. Other creatures are waking up too. Hmm, what are these jewel-like animals? Let's see. Wow, do you see how they changed? Stretch. Two sea anemones are searching for food with their long, wriggly tentacles. They eat small fish and shrimp. That's what they look like on the other side of the page. Dark nooks under rocks make perfect hiding places. Hmm, can you see who is resting there? We can see the little crab. What else can we see? Oh, we can see the rest of his body. Click, click. A crab holds its pinchers up ready to grab a tidbit to eat. The crab is on the move. Hmm, but there's another hunter nearby. Oh, I think I see part of him here. I wonder who he is. It says, hold tight. A starfish uses tube-like suckers on its underside to hold on to the rock. Another animal with suckers is resting in the tide pool. Can you count its eight arms? Hmm, what creature has eight arms? Let's see. It's an octopus. 
An octopus has eight long arms with suckers on the side. It crawls slowly over the rocks. And the, the octopus's arms, friends, they're called tentacles. It doesn't mention it in here, but they're called tentacles in case you wanted to know the actual term. There is an animal hiding in the sand. Only its eyes can be seen. Hmm, what do you think it is? So you can see its eyes there, friends. Let's find out what creature this is. Splish, splash. What creature is that, friends? A small fish lives in the tide pool. It hides under rocks, in seaweed, and in the sand. That's why we couldn't see it earlier. It had camouflage, which is what we call um, colors or the ability to hide in someone in one animal's surroundings. Another tide pool creature lives in this large shell. Hmm, what do you think it could be? So there's the shell. Surprise! A hermit crab has made his home in the empty shell. This whelk is sharing its part of the tide pool with small swimming creatures. Can you see them? Hmm, I can't see them now, but let's shine a light and see if we can. There they are. Swish. Shrimp move backward by quickly flicking their tails. Their see-through bodies are much easier to find when they move. Hmm, something is waving in the water. Which plants live in the sea? Let's shine a light and find out. Can you see that, friends? Slick and slimy seaweed anchors itself to rocks and grows in the sun. What is slithering along in the seaweed? So that's what the seaweed looks like. Let's find out what is slithering along in the seaweed. A whelk. A whelk is looking for other shellfish. It can drill a hole through a shell to eat the creature inside. So this whelk can drill holes in seashells. I'm sure some of you might be familiar with this animal. It's a sea otter. A sea otter has spotted something. Can you see what she wants for dinner? Let's see. So there's the otter. But do you see the spikes right there? It says, ouch. Most animals stay away from those nasty spikes. But a sea urchin is a tasty meal for the sea otter. Which orange-beaked bird lives on the seashore? We can see part of him right here. Let's find out more. Let's shine a light and learn more about this particular bird. It says, an oyster catcher is calling out to other birds. Squawk. Can you see what the oyster catcher has found in the sand? Let's shine a light, see if we can find out. It's a clam. An oyster catcher's long beak is perfect for finding buried food. Slowly, the tide retreats and with it much of the water in the tide pool. Its animals and plants are resting again, waiting for the next tide to come in. 
And here's a list of the different animals that we saw by shining a light. And that's the end of our book. Thank you friends for joining me and reading Secrets of the Seashore. Have a great rest of your day. Bye friends.